it looks that way, whatever he may wish. The Prime Minister head into Parliament to battle on, but his party and his cabinet now calling time on his premiership. Questions, Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Today is a big day. As we implement the biggest tax cut for a decade. A big day, but not for the reasons he might have hoped, addressing MPs at Prime Minister's questions. But these days, there's only one question left. When will he go? I ask him to do the honourable thing, to put the interests of the nation before his own interests. And before, in, in, in his own words, it does become impossible for government to do its job. Does the Prime Minister think there are any circumstances in which he should resign? Nothing um, left for him to do other than to take responsibility and resign. The claps and cheers spoke volumes. Can I just say, you ought to be embarrassed by clapping. Not embarrassed, but this is pain. Whatever the smirks and smiles try to disguise the PM now in a brutal battle, as a wave of resignations put him into freefall, still trying, though, to stand his ground. The job of a Prime Minister in difficult circumstances when he's been handed a colossal mandate is to keep going. But hour by hour, that becoming increasingly difficult. Anyone with anything about them would be long gone from his front bench. Yeah. In the middle of a crisis, doesn't the country deserve better yes. than a Z-list cast of nodding dogs? Isn't this the first recorded case of the sinking ships fleeing the rat? The first to flee, Sajid Javid, now on the back benches, preparing to deliver what was a damning resignation speech. Treading the tightrope between loyalty and integrity has become impossible in recent months. And, Mr Speaker, I will never risk losing my integrity. I also believe a team is as good as its team captain and that a captain is as good as his or her team. The events of recent months have made it increasingly difficult to be in that team. It's not fair on ministerial colleagues to go out every morning defending lines that don't stand up and don't hold up. Yeah. It's not fair on my parliamentary colleagues who bear the brunt of constituents' dismay in their inboxes and on their doorsteps in recent elections. Yeah. And it's not fair on Conservative members and voters who rightly expect better standards from the party they supported. Pats of solidarity for this man and shouts of by Boris as the Prime Minister made a swift exit. From the chamber to his next grilling from MPs, this not getting any easier. Eight more members of the government quitting while the Prime Minister sat in this seat. On his lapel, a Terence Higgins Trust badge, but there's not much love left here. When you see Prime Minister, people like um, John Glenn leaving government, people like Kemi Badenoch, people like uh, Neil O'Brien, do you not feel, Prime Minister, the very ability, capacity of this government to to address these enormous overhanging issues is, is, is deteriorating as we speak. All of it grim. Michael Gove has told you to go. The shit adds up, the game's up, really. Will you be Prime Minister tomorrow? Uh, uh, of course. Social, even as some of his cabinet began to gather in Downing Street, awaiting the PM's return. Grant Shapps, do you want the Prime Minister to stand down? Is that the honourable oh, thing to do, sir? Most here to tell him his time had come. Do you still support the Prime Minister, Nadine Dorries? But this die-hard ally here to rally him on. There's a delegation of your Cabinet colleagues waiting in Downing Street, including the Chief Whip, the Transport Secretary and your new Chancellor, waiting to tell you when you finish here today that it's time for you to go. How will you respond to that? I'm not going to give a, a running commentary on political events. Uh, we're going to get on with the government of the country. But running the country not easy right now. Boris Johnson tonight holed up in there and full of defiance in the face of almost certain defeat. As ever, this is a politician who is breaking all conventions and still believes that he can defy political gravity, stay in put, while others in his position would have almost certainly walked by now. But make no mistake, the past 24 hours seem to have sealed his fate. 38 government resignations, chunks of his cabinet and his parliamentary party telling him he has to go. He doesn't want to leave. But this is now a prime minister who cannot command his
his cabinet, cannot command his government, cannot command his party and cannot lead this country. This a politician now driven by only one thing, his visceral desire to remain in number 10. But how long will his party let him? Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster. Well, Beth Rigby is here in a febrile atmosphere, certainly in Downing Street. And Beth, despite all of that, Boris Johnson utterly defiant tonight. How is he still here? Anna, he really is defiant tonight, but we were talking last night after those cabinet resignations and the question was, is this the moment where the end is set for him, where the die is cast? And we've had our answer, haven't we, in the past 24 hours. There have been now 42 resignations from his government. My piece to camera, I only shot it half an hour ago, already out of day. But he's clinging on. What is going on? Well, there's a couple of things going on tonight. Uh, number one, he sent his parliamentary minister of aid, James Dudridge, out. He spoke exclusively to our John Craig on Sky News. Uh, and Dudridge was saying uh, that the mood is buoyant in there, it's business as usual, uh, uh, there will be tax cuts in a prime ministerial chancellor's speech next week. Lots of people are going to be given new roles. So the message from in there is we're ploughing on. What's the message to the Cabinet? Well, the message to the Cabinet was to try and give them short shrift tonight, with Michael Gove being sacked by Boris Johnson for this morning suggesting to the Prime Minister that it was time to set stand down. Now, the other group of Cabinet Ministers that went in today, you saw them all going in, Grant Shapps, uh, we had Simon Hart, Brandon Lewis. Uh, not clear tonight what's going to happen to them. Are they going to resign? Sam, my colleague, talking about another resignation tonight. So the Cabinet is in a tussle with them. And then the parliamentary party. Well, one number 10 uh, source told me tonight that the Prime Minister meeting Graham Brady, quoting this person, called Graham Brady's bluff. Uh, and the source says to me, all Graham could say is that there'll be an election on Monday for a new committee. There could be a change of the rules. There could be a confidence vote. Boris Johnson could be uh, ditched, but it's not a given. So Boris Johnson, the message to the party, on that is bring it on. I mean, it's absolutely extraordinary. And as I was saying in my report tonight, uh, typically uh, a prime minister in this situation would have stood down, but Pr Boris Johnson is not a typical prime minister. But however defiant he is, he is in deep trouble. And most people you speak to, pretty much all people you speak to, apart from the diehard loyalists, say the game is up.